What's going on guys? In this video, I will show you how to make all over sublimation t-shirts. Normally, you would need around $10,000 of equipment to make these, but I will show you guys how to make these at home with a $200 printer and a $200 heat press machine. I will show you guys the entire process of how to make these shirts, and also we will talk about how to start an online business selling these. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. First, let's talk about what you will need to buy to make these shirts. You will need a standard Epson EcoTank printer. These cost around $200. You will need sublimation ink, sublimation paper, and you will need a heat press machine that goes up to 400 degrees such as the better sub this also costs around $200 you will also need blank t-shirts and heat press tape I will leave a link to all of these items in the description under the video all right guys so the first thing that we have to do is get a large cardboard box and place our blank shirt on it there are two types of blank sublimation shirts regular all white shirts with these shirts you can print on the front and the back and then there are also blackout shirts blackout shirts have a black back and black sleeves in this example we're going to be using a blackout shirt in my opinion blackout shirts look much better and they're much classier we're going to take a permanent marker and we're going to trace around the t-shirt make sure the distance between the line and the t-shirt is approximately one centimeter to an inch we want the shirt to be fully stretched out on the cardboard so when we print there are no unprinted areas after this, we're going to use a box cutter and cut out the template. If you guys want, you can also use scissors. Cut the neck area just like you guys see right here. After this is done, the next step is to heat press each side of the cardboard. The reason why we're doing this is to flatten the cardboard. When we press our image, we want everything to look equal. After this is done, we're going to put the cardboard inside the shirt. You want to get rid of all the creases and make sure the shirt is completely flat. Also, make sure that all of the white parts of the shirt are facing up. Any area that's not pressed is going to be white and that's going to be a defect after the shirt is done. And you guys don't want that. The next thing we're going to do is convert our printer into a sublimation printer. The printer is going to come with regular ink. You guys can either sell that ink or you can empty out the bottles and pour sublimation ink into those bottles. After you do this, pour the sublimation ink into the printer and your printer is ready. You guys don't have to buy any kind of aftermarket cartridges. This is the best way to convert a printer into a sublimation printer. Just make sure that regular ink was never poured into the printer first. The first ink that you pour into the printer has to be sublimation ink. After pouring the ink, make sure you guys do a couple of print head cleanings. Once that's done, you're ready to print. Now the next step is to get our image. We're going to go into Google and download a high resolution picture. Now I'm not telling you guys to go into Google and download stuff and sell it or to sell anything copyrighted. This is strictly an example to show you guys how to make a shirt. We will also type in t-shirt template into Google and download it. Next, we're going to measure the shirt. You guys don't actually have to measure it. You can simply go on jiffyshirts.com and look at the dimensions. So this shirt is 22 inches in width and 30 inches long. So we're going to open up Photoshop, click make a new document, and we're going to make the document a few inches larger. So we're going to make it 24 by 32 with 300 DPI. We're going to put the shirt inside the template, click flip horizontally, and save it as a PDF file. The next thing we will do is download a program called Adobe Acrobat Reader. This is a free program. The reason why we're downloading this program is because it's going to allow us to make poster prints. Basically, it's going to take our PDF file and it's going to break it up and print it into multiple papers. So we're going to right click on our file, click open with Adobe Acrobat Reader, select paper size US letter, select poster and hit print. The printer will start printing out all the papers and the next step is to cut them out. When you cut out the pictures, make sure you do not leave any white areas. Any white area that's not cut out is going to be a flaw on the shirt. After this, we're going to use heat transfer tape and tape all the images together. It's very important to use white heat transfer tape. White heat transfer tape will make sure that all the pictures hold up together. After everything is taped up, this is what our image is going to look like. We will put our paper on the table and after this, we're going to take our cardboard box with the shirt and we're going to put it on top of the paper. We're going to line everything correctly and we're going to tape it. Make sure you guys do a very good job taping. After this, the next step is to heat up our heat press machine to 380 to 400 degrees. It's very important that you guys get it to this temperature. If it's any less, you will not have a vivid picture. After this, we're going to place parchment paper over our print and we're going to press each side for around one minute. Make sure you guys use a towel. The heat press machine is going to get very hot. We will press one side, then take the cardboard and insert the next side. We're going to do this for all six sides. After we press each part of the shirt, our shirt is done. We're going to tear off the sublimation paper and here's our finished shirt. As you guys know, sublimation ink becomes part of the fabric. So no matter how many times you wash the shirt, it will not wash off. So as you guys can see, you can easily make shirts just like this right here at home. Now, let me give you guys a couple tips. If you have lines such as this one right here, that means you had a crease on your shirt and you have to make a bigger template. You want to make sure that your shirt is completely flat before pressing so that every single part gets printed on. Now, one more thing. You guys see these little white lines right here? That's because we put the two pieces of paper together and this created an empty area. So instead, you guys should put the papers on top of each other and then tape them. 
This way there will not be any gaps in your design. Now another common issue is when you guys print your papers, your papers will have lines and this will transfer onto the shirt. The way to prevent this is that you want to use high quality ink. In this example I used a regular cheap Amazon ink, but you guys should use high end inks such as Cosmos inks and you should also clean out your print heads. If you guys do this, you'll be getting flawless prints in no time. Now if you guys want to sublimate on pure white t-shirts with both front and back sides, the process is exactly the same. You're going to make both of your files in Photoshop. You're going to print them out, you're going to press on one side, flip over the cardboard, and then press the other side. It's the exact same process. Also, if you guys want to make double-sided shirts, I strongly suggest that you guys use the Sub Live brand shirts. They're very high quality and their shape is perfect. Alright guys, so now let's break down how much it costs to make a shirt. So the blackout shirts cost around $10 on Jiffy shirts, but once you guys start selling a lot of these, you can easily start buying these wholesale on Alibaba.com for around $2 each. The regular sublimation shirts cost around $6 each. Again, you can buy these cheaper on Alibaba. The sublimation paper cost me $15 for 100 sheets, so that means each sheet is 15 cents. But again, if you guys buy these in larger quantities, expect to pay around 5 cents per sheet. So it costs us less than a dollar to print these shirts. So if we can get these shirts for $2 wholesale and it costs us $1 to print, that means it costs around $3 to make each shirt. The average selling price for all of our shirt is around $30. Alright guys, now let's talk about how you can start a business selling these. Alright, so I know what you guys are thinking. You're gonna make a bunch of t-shirts of different rappers, rock stars, basketball players, football players, movies and more, and sell them all over eBay, Amazon and Etsy. And I'm telling you guys right now, that's not what you wanna do. That's an uphill battle, and I strongly suggest that you guys avoid that. I understand there's a lot of people doing this, making money online and getting away with it, but trust me guys, it's much better to build a legit business. You should only sell these types of shirts if you get creative and you go around the copyrights and the trademarks. Let me show you guys the best way to sell all over sublimation shirts. So like I just said, if you guys are going to be making shirts, make sure you avoid any copyrights and trademarks. And the second best way to do it is to sell custom order shirts. You guys can easily make a listing on Etsy and take custom orders. These types of shirts are always in high demand and people always want to make custom shirts for their kids for different events such as football and basketball games, graduations, weddings and much much more. And the absolute best way to make money off of these shirts is to sell them wholesale. If you guys make an Etsy listing offering custom shirts for sale, you can have a bunch of pictures of copyrighted shirts such as Michael Jordan shirts and much much more. But the thing is you won't get in trouble with Etsy because you're not actually selling these shirts. You're only taking custom orders for them. So the pictures are just examples of what types of shirts you're able to manufacture. All the licensing and the copyright right stuff that's all the customer's responsibility so if anything happens you will not be getting in trouble for it so say it costs you three dollars to make a shirt and you sell them for ten dollars each that means you're making seven dollars clean on every shirt but since you're selling them wholesale there has to be a minimum order quantity so say the minimum order quantity is 15 shirts that means on every order you'll be making 105 dollars if you get just 10 orders a day you'll be making over a thousand dollars a day i highly suggest you guys get into wholesaling in my opinion is the best way to go about it Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.